So today we have the Megalodon from the Meg taking on the Mosasaurus from Jurassic World. Who wins? Let's find out. So we need to talk about size. And these two are just massive. The Mosasaur is definitely by far the biggest animal Dr. Henry Wu has ever created for Jurassic World. It is 55 to 70 feet long and weighed about 28 tons, which is like 56,000 pounds. Uh, but the Meg was 60 to 80 feet long, and according to somebody on Google, Google who did a lot of math, it weighed at a whopping 205,857 pounds. So, these two are similar in length, but the Meg is about mm, 150,000 pounds heavier than the Mosasaur. And that is a massive difference. Uh, the Meg casually overpowered, killed, and ate anything it wanted to in the ocean, including giant squids and whales. It even destroyed this big ship sheerly under its own weight. <clears throat> it easily survived a massive explosion and being impaled in the eye by a harpoon. It even had the most powerful bite force out of any animal to have ever exist, with it being 40,000 pounds per square inch. Add that with razor sharp teeth that were 18 centimeters long, and it has a weapon that is one shotting pretty much everything it comes into contact with. It could even launch itself out of the water, and it could obviously swim incredibly fast. I couldn't find anything about how fast it could go, but I'm sure it was faster than <clears throat> anything else that's in the ocean today. But then there's the Mosasaur, the biggest animal that's ever been created in the Jurassic World universe. And nothing existing today can match its size. It is the apex predator of the sea as of now in Jurassic World. It has a massive mouth full of razor sharp teeth designed for ripping apart flesh. It has a bite force of 13,000 pounds per square inch, which is a thousand more pounds than Rexy's. Uh, its body might not be as heavy as the Meg's, but its body is more flexible and more mobile and athletic, so it's able to outmaneuver the Meg. Uh, it was also able to launch itself out of the water, like it did with that dude at the beginning of Fallen Kingdom. It's also the thing that killed and ate the Indominus Rex with ease. Didn't even try. Easily. And seeing how its skeleton was laying in the water at the beginning of Fallen Kingdom, the Mosasaurs ripped it apart. But let's be real here. The Mosasaurs bite was designed to rip its prey apart, while the Meg's bite was designed to literally one-shot its prey, one and done. It literally just clamps down and holds its prey until they bleed to death. It's like an oversized bear trap. On the other hand, the Mosasaurus literally has to like rip its prey into pieces. So like even with the 9 foot shark that it ate at the beginning of Jurassic World, it, you've seen it when it, it like panned under the water, it ate half of it and then ate the other half. That's just a 9 foot shark. This thing's possibly 80 feet long <laughs> what is it going to do what's a bite from this from this guy going to do to the other guy the meg basically i think the meg is just too heavy and robust for the mosasaur to do any real damage to on the other hand the mosasaurus would be just like any other animal to the meg yeah i'm siding with the megalodon on this one the meg is winning for sure like, I don't even know if the Mosasaur could take down the smaller Megalodon that was in this movie. Uh, <laughs> I really don't. Yeah, the Meg's winning this one. Like and subscribe if you did enjoy. Leave a comment of what you think and hit the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos and all the great stuff. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.